What's up guys? So as promised yesterday uh, and for days before that, today I'm going to be looking at some of the best F1 or motorsport related Christmas presents that I found, uh, with your help of course, uh, online available to buy for this Christmas. Um, there are lots out there, there's a whole variety of stuff, stuff that I didn't even know existed, um, but could be brilliant for either you to give to other people, other friends who are motorsport fans, or if you want to drop massive hints for other people uh, to buy for you. So I hope at the end of this you'll have some better ideas than maybe when we started. Now let's start with the obvious one, <laughs> and probably the best. Look at that, my book. If you don't have it already, it is available in four versions. It's available in beautiful shiny hardback, it's available now in paperback as well. Uh, you can also get it on your Kindle and you can also uh, get it as an audio download, which I recorded myself. My own dulcet tones are the voice you will hear. Uh, and look at this, just to prove that this is a great stocking filler, it fits in a stocking, now in paperback version. That, by the way, is Pharrell's stocking. <laughs> um, so there you go. That one, if you haven't got it already, why not? But get it for this Christmas. You can order it on Amazon and in lots of other places, loads of great bookshops. Go buy it. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's got some good stories of behind the scenes of what life is like as an F1 mechanic. Uh, what is it like to be to work with Lewis Hamilton? What's it like to work with Fernando Alonso that year of 2007? Uh, if you want some behind the scenes access to the whole Spygate situation, uh, that fateful pit stop in Hungary. I mean, I was in that pit stop. Um, what's it like to go out on a massive party bender with Kimi Raikkonen? Um, all sorts of stuff in there. Ron Dennis, McLaren, MTC. Uh, basically, life behind the scenes of McLaren and the Formula One pit lane. I hope you'll enjoy it. Right, that is that one, but there are plenty of others as well. So let's have a little look at some of those. Right, now another idea that I found and discovered uh, or was introduced to me earlier this year, you may have seen it in one of my previous videos, uh, comes from racingchocks.com. Uh, I think a really interesting and unique uh, gift for either yourself or any motorsport fan, uh, these little custom um, motorsport crash helmet inspired chocolates that not only look amazing, the detail on them is fantastic. They're such a brilliant, cute uh, little gift to give somebody. They come in all different sizes from sort of six or individuals to, to great big trays that you can have for corporate events. Uh, you can have them custom designed um, to helmets of your, inspired by racing drivers, helmets of your own choice. They can even have any custom design on them that you want if you give them enough notice. But a really nice way of doing something completely different. Nobody will have these. You can't buy them in shops. You can only get them from racingchocks.com. And I spoke to the guy there yesterday. Uh, the final orders for UK delivery need to be in by the 15th, Friday the 15th of December to have delivery by Friday the 21st of December if you're in the UK and you want to get these before Christmas. But a really nice, and I've got to say, a gorgeous tasting uh, chocolate <laughs> racing gift for, for a motorsport fan in your, in your world. Now these were quite interesting. Somebody uh, linked these to me on Twitter yesterday. They come from, uh, the, well the Twitter account is A Life in Orange. It's a Marshall, Motorsport Marshall based account. And they are selling uh, A Life in Orange badges. Now I know lots of you that I've met at racetracks love to get badges that you can sew onto uh, bags and t-shirts and that kind of thing that you wear at the racetrack. And I thought these are only three pounds. Um, they're quite a nice little Christmas gift for just a subtle motorsport touch uh, and nice to give a bit of support to the marshals as well. It's a nice idea. Now, if you're into retro, old school Formula One, old school motorsport, or if you know somebody that is, RetroGP.com. I've only just discovered these guys yesterday. Uh, what a great site. They have all sorts of merchandise from a bygone era. Um, so they've got things like Jordan uh, Grand Prix t-shirts, Minardi t-shirts, um, <laughs> Andrea Moda team shirts. Uh, I mean, this these stuff goes way back, the, uh, the kind of Hesketh GP t-shirt. So if you're perhaps uh, an older uh, motorsport fan, race fan, or somebody who's got a real interest in, in the sports history, or you know somebody that is, these could be little, great little gifts, great little kind of t-shirts, they do socks, they do mugs, all sorts of merch, but not from the current era, from, from days gone by, when, when the world was great. <laughs> um, check them out, retrogp.com, some really, really good ideas on there. 
Uh, now lots of you over the past few months will have noticed on my wrist this particular thing, my Omologato Racing uh, Le Mans Racing Black Edition watch. Uh, I absolutely love it. I really do think it's a very stylish uh, and it's a motorsport inspired range of watches. So you've got to go and check out omelagatowatches.com. Uh, one of my top tips for Christmas presents. Um, this is obviously at the higher end of the range, if you like, of, of, uh, of, of spend for Christmas presents. But if you've got somebody that's, that's special for you and you're looking for a big present, a, more, a slightly more expensive present, um, these are a really, really great way to go about. It's something that's precious. You know, time is the most precious gift you can give anybody. Somebody said to me recently, why is it that watch companies are always associated with uh, with racing, with, with motorsport? And I said, well, you know, motorsport, everything to do with motorsport is centered around time. It's literally the very essence of motorsport is the stopwatch, it's time, isn't it? So that's why they've got this big association and Omologato are a really nice family run, small operation, um, but have built a massive community of race fans who have just become very passionate, just like the owner is, uh, a friend of mine now, Shami, very passionate about racing and about creating these beautiful timepieces. And when I say it's a more expensive gift, of course it is compared to things like t-shirts, but it's definitely not in the expense range of things like a tag or a Rolex that you might more naturally associate with, uh, with Formula One. So it's worth checking out. They've got a huge range of watches inspired by Formula One, by American racing, by historic racing, uh, loads of different ranges within there. So if you're a Ferrari fan, if you're a fan of a particular driver, there are, there are um, uh, watches inspired by some of those people and some of those places, some famous cars, definitely worth checking out. But uh, you know, I genuinely, I'm not just saying this, I genuinely love mine. Um, so I hope you might be able to find one that you love too. Uh, many of you will already know about the site WTF1. Uh, if you're a Formula 1 fan and you like the lighter side of F1, uh, WTF1 is a great site, great YouTube channel as well by the way. Um, but they also have a, a merch site, so they have a clothing uh, site where you can buy t-shirts and if you're looking for something that's a little bit more light-hearted, that's uh, slogan t-shirts that are funny, uh, moments from Formula 1, uh, some of the Kimi phrases, the, uh, the picture of Fernando Alonso Alonso sat in the deck chair. Um, I mean, all sorts of really quite amusing, but F1 or motorsport linked t-shirts. Uh, really worth going to have a look because um, these are the kinds of things that if you're going to a motorsport based event, if you're going to a Grand Prix, for example, and you're looking for something to wear, you don't want to wear a team shirt. These things are really, really good. Everybody else within the crowd, everybody else at those events will instantly know kind of what it means and where it's from and what it's all about. Um, so really quite funny. It's quite funny just reading through some of the slogans on these t-shirts. So <laughs> go and check it out. That's shop.wtf1.com forward slash collections forward slash t-shirts. I will of course link all of these by the way in the description of the video. Um, but definitely go and check out their site. If nothing else it'll give you a laugh. <laughs> Uh, right, somebody connected me with these guys on Twitter. It's boxboxbox.co, uh, dot co, that is. Um, and they do some quite different uh, merch, I guess. They do t-shirts and hoodies, all sustainably produced, all motorsport and F1 related. Uh, but one of the things I quite liked, it's a little bit different, is a 2019 Grand Prix tea towel. <laughs> um, I mean, how many people have got a Grand Prix tea towel in their kitchen? Um, so I thought it just might be worth having a little look at. It's got all the circuits printed on it for 2019's calendar. Uh, they also do mugs, notebooks, t-shirts, hoodies, all of those kind of things produced in the UK. And as I say, ethically and responsibly and sustainably sourced as well, if you like to tick those boxes too. So worth going to check them out, boxboxbox.co. Right, there's somebody on Twitter that I'd like you to go and visit. Um, they are called Artified, at Artified, and that's Artified where the F and the I of Artified is F1. It used to be called Gallery of Speed, and this is somebody who's doing, uh, making parts, making things out of former F1 car parts. Now there are a few people doing this online, there are lots of sites, I'll try and link a few of them, but I particularly like this one because it's all being done to raise money for multiple sclerosis. 
Uh, he's making key rings out of skid F1 skid planks, the plank that goes on the bottom of an F1 car, out of rear wing sections of a Red Bull I can see. Um, he's got t-shirts that are printed with an F1 tyre tread print across the front. Um, there are all sorts of different things. He's got carbon fibre photo frames made from bits of an old Marussia. Uh, parts of the old Caterham Formula One cars he's bought up and is now upcycling. Um, he calls himself uh, a motorsport artist and an upcycler of F1 car parts uh, and of course a fundraiser. So go and check it out because it's got some good stuff on there, some unique things that you will not be able to buy anywhere else. And of course it's all doing a lot of great work for charity. So if you want to tick that box, as well as getting yourself or someone else something pretty special for Christmas, go check them out, at Artified on Twitter. Uh, right, let's finish with this one. Uh, this one I want you to go and check out, mementoexclusives.com. Uh, this comes from a guy called Paul Oz, who has made some quite beautiful pieces of art based around parts of Formula One cars. Uh, there are things like F1 gear ratio clocks, um, there are uh, gear ratios mounted in polished acrylic, tables made from Formula One wheels, um, all sorts of really kind of unique things, mobile, fo mobile phone holders uh, designed out of pieces of a Formula One car plank. Um, so he's come up with some really interesting ideas to repurpose parts of an F1 car. And these are the kind of gifts that, as I said before, you can't find in the shops. They're not the kind of gifts that everybody's going to have, but they are the kind of gifts that an out and out Formula One fan, just like many of you, would absolutely love to have. Um, so go and have a look at them. Mementoexclusives.com. Some really interesting and definitely unique pieces of, of art that can make great presents. Um, Lots of ideas in amongst that lot. I hope you found some of them useful. I hope some of them you didn't know about before this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you have, hit a like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please do hit subscribe and hit that little notification bell just down there somewhere because then you'll never miss another video. I post a video almost every day on this channel, almost always based in some way around Formula One or motorsport. So please do give us a shout and uh, tell all your mates if you know about us already. Um, so there's a, lot, a bunch of Christmas ideas there. Uh, go check them out. Let me know if you do order something from one of these sites. I'd love to know if this has been useful. Tag me in your, your uh, Twitter posts. Uh, tag me on Instagram. Uh, the, the links are all at the end. And I will link every single piece of uh, merch and every idea that I have put in the video. I will link at the end in the description. So go check all of those out. Uh, and of course, Whatever you're buying this Christmas, make sure <laughs> that one of those is in the stocking of either you or the person you love. Uh, if you're buying for somebody else, that's easy. I've given you loads of ideas. If you need something buying for you, just leave this video playing on a loop on your computer screen. Leave it open, leave it obvious, and maybe your loved one will walk by and see it and you can drop that massive hint without being too obvious. Uh, okay, that's it for this one. I just want to say though, this is video MP196. That means we are just a few videos away from the big MP200. I would like to know your ideas on what we should do, how we should celebrate. Have you been here since the beginning? Have you seen every single one of my videos? If you have, hit me up, shout me out. I'd love to know who's been here since the beginning. Uh, it was almost a year ago when I started this channel. I have loved the whole process. I've learnt an awful lot and I know lots of you have been along for the whole journey with me. So I would love to know who you are uh, and what you think of it so far. And should we be doing something to celebrate MP200? For me, it feels like a momentous occasion uh, right before Christmas. So give me a shout if you think there's some special idea we should be doing for the 200th video and we'll try and work it in. Right, thanks guys. Have a great weekend and I will catch you all on Monday. See you later.